Hi, and welcome back to Aspiring Winehouse Tasting Series. We're here today at Poplar Grove on the Naramata Bench in BC. This winery is one of the original five wineries on the Naramata Bench. It's been open for over 20 years. Uh, we're in a new, nice facility. It's set up in 2011, and we're going to try. Uh, we're going to try a few wines. Uh, Anne's going to flash up a picture here. You should see how great this uh, the view out of this winery is. Now we're going to try the uh, the Pinot Gris from Poplar Grove. This is a uh, I really like when uh, BC wineries make Pinot Gris and Riesling. They're uh, to me, the climate in the Okanagan really reflects the climate in the Alsace region of France, and so they, we tend to get these are really well. So what we have is a very, very clear uh, lemon, lemon-colored uh, wine. Bit of a medium, medium nose. Let's see. What it kind of tastes, smells like, uh, smells like honey with a little bit of uh, some aromatic. Let's uh, say maybe some some lime. It's dry. Say it's got a medium acid, and it's got a, a really nice lime and honey and notes. Maybe a little more aromatic. I'm struggling to put my finger on it, and um, it's got medium, light to medium bodied, and a medium finish, and a, that's really nice. Well, let's see what's next. So now we're going to try the Poplar Grove Syrah. Uh, the grapes for this are grown down in a soyas to the south of here. As you move up the Okanagan, it gets a lot colder, and it's a lot harder to get red grapes right. So while the winery is 100% family owned and grows, uh, uses 100% estate grown grapes, the estate for this wine is 75, 100 kilometers to the south of where we are now. So let's give it a try. We've got a, a really nice, deep, deep ruby color. It smell, it's a faint smell. It's clean. It smells like black, black currants, maybe a little black pepper. Maybe not much black pepper though. It's pretty, pretty non-peppery Syrah. Let's see what it tastes like. It's dry. I'd say that's a, a medium, medium plus acid. It's got a, a medium tannin. It's pretty light on the tannin for a Syrah too. Uh, very mellow. Uh, it's, it's, I'd still say it's medium plus, medium, medium too full bodied, medium plus. Uh, it tastes like black currant. It's really mellow. It doesn't have that overpowering black pepper bite that I like and, and can't stand. I still kind of taste it a bit, the, the bit of that black fruit. So we're, it's solidly a medium to long finish. That's a, that's a really nice wine. Next, we're going to try the Merlot. This one's growing uh, up here on the Naramata bench. So it's going to be a little bit of a cooler climate than the Syrah we just tried. It's got a very deep uh, color. It's almost a, a, almost a tawny. Uh, it's very, it's still a little ruby, but it's, it's pretty deep. Anne's making faces at me. She doesn't agree with my assessment of the color. So let's uh, see how it smells. It's got a much, it's much stronger smell in the Syrah. Maybe not quite uh, a pungent aroma. I'm still medium plus maybe, but it smells of uh, smells earthy. Not quite of mushrooms, but something down that forest floor road. Uh, let's see how it tastes. It's got a, it's dry. It's uh, let's say medium acid. It's got a lot more tannin for a Merlot. There's a there's a lot of tannin in this wine. A lot more than we had in that Syrah we just tried. It's full bodied. And uh, let's see, let me just go back for the flavors. The flavor is still it's very much a uh, herbaceous sense. It's still got that velvety Merlotness, but it's a, lot, it's a lot stronger on its own than a lot of Merlots are. And it's got a, it's got a pretty good finish. I'm again, I'm still tasting the wine. So that's a, that's a really nice finish on that Merlot. And, uh, and Anne's definitely a fan. She's smiling. As you know, she's the, uh, she's the right bank girl in this relationship. So let's see what's next. So up next, we're going to try the Cabernet Franc. Uh, this is again also growing down in a soyas. There is some Cab Franc growing up here on the Naramata bench, but it goes into a single vineyard bottle, which is not what we're trying today. We're trying the Cab Franc from, from down in a soyas. So it's a, it's a deep garnet color. It's very, uh, very rich in color, but still somewhat translucent. So let's give it a, smells, uh, it's got a medium, medium aroma, it's clean. It's uh, struggling to put exactly my finger on it. Maybe um, plum, plum. That's what it is. Uh, so let's give a, let's give a, let's give it a taste. It's dry. It's uh, medium acid, medi medium tannin. The body's really weird. It's like nothing up front, really smooth, kind of delicate, and then the back ends like a 
rap star's girlfriend and just hits you in the finish full in your mouth and you're uh you're uh you're getting this uh long finish that's almost stronger than the wine was at the beginning it's like a light bodied wine in your mouth and then the finish it's like it was a full bodied wine and you're getting a uh you're getting plum you're getting oak uh and with that nice long finish this is a really nice wine uh, probably with that tannin, we're probably uh, it would age really well, or would help, or would blend in, might age really well with any other Bordeaux styles that we might try here coming out. Next, we're going to try the Legacy uh, wine, which is their uh, their take on a Bordeaux blend. It's an interesting uh, percentage. I'm hoping here I can remember this correctly, but it was 35% uh, Cabernet Franc, 23% uh, uh, Malbec, 22 Merlot, and 20. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is going to be like a a right bank, uh, a right bank Bordeaux, but with a lot more Cab Franc. So we're going to get maybe a little bit more structure than we're used to seeing in uh, in right bank Bordeaux. It's a very, it's like a deep, deep garnet color. Uh, the clerk who just poured it for me said that she really wanted it to, she really wanted jewelry this color. And Anne's like, make sure you don't refer to the wine as pigeon blood on camera. And it's not pigeon blood, which for those of you who don't know is a color of rubies, but this would be a gorgeous, getting rubies in this color would, uh, would certainly make any girl happy. So let's, uh, let's see what it smells like. It's got, a, it's got a bit of a fainter aroma. It's been, uh, this is a 2012. They keep it, they put it in barrels for 21 months and then they don't release it for at least four years. And it probably still could, uh, could age a little bit longer. So let's see what it tastes like dry has the plum from that Cabernet Franc we just tried but there's some more blackberry and the aging's just starting into a leather note so maybe if you kept this in your cellar for a few years this would really start to uh, to open up and it's got a skipped acid and tannin it's got a bit of a medium acid and a, I'd say medium medium plus tannin it's not quite like the Merlot we tried earlier but it's, it's been mellowed down a bit it's full bodied uh, and let's see let's try the finish again yeah, that's, that's got a probably, I'd say, a medium medium finish. That's a, it's a really nice bottle of wine. So thank you for joining us today at the Poplar Grove Winery. Uh, if you like our videos, check out our Patron account and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.